Are you ready to create a life you crave? Let's spin that doom loop of negativity into an upward success cycle and start living lucky. Good I'm Jamma. I'm Jason. And we are living lucky, I hope. Oh, I just got I hope you are too. <laughs> That okay. that H sound it provoked my cough. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Don't make me laugh. I'll start coughing. <clears throat> Today we are talking about vegetables, and I just realized we're wearing green. We look like two vegetables sitting I'm here. I'm very leafy. I'm a I'm a dark leafy green. <laughs> Which vegetable are you? I'll be kale. Oh, did you ever play that vegetable nice, game I'm baby growing kale. up? Your baby kale. Baby did, kale is nice and sweet. Did you ever play that vegetable game where you cover your teeth? Asparagus. Yeah, but you're kale. You're kale. I'm kale. <gasps> oh my gosh, Denise is here. <laughs> Good Hello, morning, Denise. Denise. We love it when you join us. It's been a while. I know. And where's BJ? D, uh, I don't know. I haven't. BJ, a... I know. And where's BJ? D, uh, I don't know. I BJ haven't seen. BJ and Marilyn. Okay, so Denise, what is your favorite vegetable? Because we're talking about vegetables this morning. Jason and I have become avid smoothie drinkers. We drink green smoothies every day. It's a priority. It is a priority. And we, we take a few shortcuts. I can't spell all my vegetables, but I love to eat them. <laughs> <laughs> we make big bulks of them, and then we put them in jars. And they only keep, I know Kim asked us last time, how long do they keep? They will only keep in the fridge for two to maybe three, three days. days. That is as long as they will keep in the refrigerator. But you can freeze them. You can put them in ice cube trays, and then when you want to make them, you can take your little ice cube trays, and <clears> you can put them back in your your magic bullet or <clears> your... You don't want to freeze big jars of them. <laughs> yeah, don't freeze big jars, but put them in ice cube trays, and then you <clears> can take those little ice cubes, and you can crush them up again, and then they're ready to go. And that makes it a little bit easier. Yeah. So we're always <clears> looking for hacks and easier ways to make our veggies. Smoothies. And we like fresh vegetables, and we like grilled vegetables and sautéed vegetables. It's just that we haven't... I used to be meat and potatoes, and you could leave the potatoes all off if you needed Did to. Did you just say, leave the potatoes off? <laughs> <laughs> that's I think funny. that's what he said. But I, I might don't have think subconsciously, you I might have said that. But I used to, there were times in my life, there were years in my life where I was like, just put them, cook the meat, I'll just have the meat only. And now it's gotten very intentionally where like it's like put a lot of vegetables. I know. In there. We're like <clears throat> fill it with vegetables. Sheila says she made some awesome Brussels sprouts yesterday. Oh my gosh. And when we were little, when when our moms would say, Oh, we're having Brussels sprouts, oh, we'd no. be like, Oh my gosh. And now I I'm love like Brussels sprouts. Oh, I just want some Brussels sprouts. There's so many ways to make Brussels sprouts and make them very good. Oh my gosh, we <clears> sound <throat> so old. We are literally we are we are fanning <clears throat> out on vegetables right now. But there are <laughs> So what a conversation. As long, <laughs> Thank you for joining us. I got, so follow the you goosebumps. You just got goosebumps. I did get goosebumps because. If you want to turn Jason on, you start talking about asparagus and avocados. avocados. <laughs> but Let me tell you about the, some rutabaga. The reason vegetables came up this morning is because we've been so deep into vegetables for a couple of years now. Several years. Several years. And. It was just a, last week I went to a Sons of Thunder meeting and there was a health speaker there. Yeah. And he talked about the Dirty Dozen and the Clean 15. And we both were like, what? Why haven't we learned about this? Because we've done some deep research and you just constantly learn. And there's so much information out there. You never know what to believe, what not to believe. In fact, we've had debates before over whether or not we should buy organic vegetables or just the regular. In fact, we got into a debate with a grocery store manager. Remember that? Yeah, and, and we shop turns, at the farmer's market. I mean, there's so many different places The that we thing go. is, you start buying organic everything, and that can get a little pricey. It gets very, it, well, it's, ex, the funny thing is, is it's expensive to go organic, it's expensive and to it's eat ex healthy. And, and it's expensive to, if you want to buy the chemicals to keep bugs off of it and to buy fertilizer and things like that. So, but there's a thing that the bulk growers use yes. that 
lowers the cost and I, we don't have to get into all the politics and all the the economics of growth but there are but small let's farmers share what you learned that let's are, share that don't go through the whole USDA organic process that are still using organic processes to grow and just having a relationship with the people in the small farms and at your local uh, farmers market that if you understand their processes and you trust them, <clears throat> they're great to buy from. But I want to just go through quickly the Dirty Dozen and the yes. Clean 15. What is the Dirty Dozen? And I'm not <clears throat> talking about that movie that everybody quotes and I don't think I've ever seen. <laughs> the Dirty Dozen. I love that movie. By Do the way. you? I think it's fantastic. I don't know if I've ever seen it. Well, get ready to be. Yes, what we're binging on Sunday. <laughs> yes, get ready to be amazed. After my TEDx talk. Uh -oh. So has anyone has anyone on here heard of the Clean 15 and the Dirty Dozen when it comes to vegetables. Raise your hand or just sit just silently. Say, say, no, I haven't heard of it. Because if we're giving you old information, I don't, I don't want to give you old information. And we may have heard of this before and just it escaped our reticular activating system. We weren't paying attention. It's kind of like when you hear um, all these names being called out in the well, airport or something. You I, don't hear anything until you hear your name. Right. I'm just looking at Anthony Squitteri. He's razzing me because I don't know who the Dirty Dozen are. <sighs> He's talking about Donald Sutherland. <clears throat> it's, a, it's a fantastic flick. Okay. <clears throat> all right. Well, Good we're talking movie. about the green kind of, do of Dirty Dozen. So let's talk about so what are they? The Dirty Dozen are vegetables that you should never buy unless they're organic. And they so the Dirty Dozen are full of chemicals. So if you're going to buy them in, and consume them, you should buy them organically. Yep, and I will tell you, it's the Environmental Working Group is a nonprofit organization that's nonpartisan, not, they're non-biased, but they update this list every year. And a lot of people don't know they update the list every year. But the, okay, so what's on the Dirty Dozen The Dirty list? Dozen this Let's year see for, which are, ones I for 2022 eat. are strawberries. I eat strawberries. Spinach. I love spinach. Kale. I'm like Popeye when it comes to spinach. So in dark leafy greens, kale, collard, and mustard greens. I don't really like collard. You haven't had them cooked right. <laughs> mustard have, greens. He's a southern boy. He's such a southern um, boy at heart. Nectarines, apples. I love grapes. Apples. I love apples. I love grapes. Bell grapes are like nature's candy. Oh my gosh! And you freeze grapes when you freeze them. Uh, I learned that from Jack Bradshaw. Grapes are like nature's candy. Uh, bell and hot peppers. Oh, I'm so into bell peppers right now, and I put them in just a little bit of hummus dip, and that is my dinner. <sighs> And Jason's like, well, I made this nice salmon and, and these Brussels sprouts. <laughs> and one I'm like, thing, I'm going to eat hummus and, and bell peppers. And check your ingredients on your hummus because one thing we've noticed is Ithaca hummus is one of the only ones that is really all natural stuff in it. Yeah, It doesn't that's have true. all the um, artificial and processed crap. stuff in it. All yeah, the crap. All the crap. Um, cherries. Peaches. Oh, I love cherries. I love cherries. Pears. Celery. How much celery do we go through with our green smoothies and hummus? Yeah, you know what? <clears throat> I realize I eat a lot of celery because I'm Celery's always great. then having to floss. I just went to the dentist and she was like, how often are you flossing? I'm like, I floss all the time. And the reason is, is because I eat celery and, and they those little things get stuck in your teeth. Celery juice has been a big thing lately. Oh, yeah. We went to the Tony Robbins Unleash the Power Within and they had a celery expert there. I forget his name off the top of my head, but he was talking about just juicing celery. He was a celebrity. He was. <laughs> was that a dad joke? That was horrible. But it was I funny. I'm going to apologize now. Uh, actually, I, I'm going to give you a little bell. I wish I had a little bell. That was really great. I'll um, take it. All right. So I felt like it was horrible. And tomatoes. I love tomatoes. We do. We eat tom tom tomatoes. <clears throat> Tormatoes. We were in, Jana grew up in Tormato Alley, <laughs> right? In his heart of Kansas. We eat them every morning for breakfast. Okay. She's well, got a tomato cellar and everything. 
Uh, okay, so Anthony Tomato says... Tomato alarms go off all over Kansas every day. He eats seven of the dirty dozen. Aren't you glad we're not talking about the Donald Sutherland <laughs> kind? <laughs> Hello. You don't want to eat them. <laughs> so, and I, I worked in a tomato packing house growing up. Oh, I know. Have you ever seen Jason's arm? Did you guys know that Jason almost got his arm cut off? Show him yeah, your... I almost, your... almost lost my left arm, uh... When I was younger, working in a tomato packing house because I got it caught in a conveyor belt and it sucked. Yes. It sucked it all the way up. That's why you see like a. It's hard to see on online, but it sucked it up to here. Spent a couple of days in the hospital, seeing if the circulation. It would makes come back. him look like he has this giant bicep. Makes me look a little buff <laughs> every now. It and really then. does. Like it, it, it's worked for your advantage. But I, I was, look at you and I'm like, wow. I was that fortunate, is... and uh, the circulation came back. They didn't have to cut my arm off, so uh, I, I would can, have loved you either way. I can hug fully, um, which I love. I love that about you. But I know I, I'm very grateful. I most of the that. tomatoes that go to Publix or any grocery store go to the gro- head out to the grocery store green. Yeah. And turn pink and red on the way to the grocery you store. You told me they gas them in the gassed. truck. Yeah. And who would have thought that my tomatoes were being gassed in the truck? We don't realize this. We we go through life. I feel this in so many areas of our life. We go through life and we we're so trusting. We just <clears throat> we just trust that we're eating foods that are good for us. Well, have you ever stopped and really studied where is my food coming from and any food with labels on it have you ever really <laughs> tried to read the labels get out your glasses or your magnifying glass try to pronounce any of the words on those labels if you can't pronounce it there there's a reason i'm like why didn't i learn these words in school well that's because <clears throat> they have literally Come up with 190 different words for sugar. 190 different words to say the word sugar. Sugar is poison. (laughs) Sugar is poison in our bodies. And we're just consuming it because we don't know any better. I love it. We're unaware. We are unaware (laughs) with what we're consuming. And here's the thing. The more sugar we eat, guess what it makes our bodies do? It makes our bodies crave... Sugar. More sugar. And so I'm so glad you brought this to our attention. So the dirty dozen. Now let's go through the clean well, 15 because we're running out of time. I know. What and are one the of the sad 15? things is, is most people have never even, there's so many people in the world that have never even tasted a homegrown, what, what real food tastes like when it comes to vegetables and food that hasn't been affected by just, like has good soil and just has the flavor of real food. So the clean 15. So the clean 15 don't require a lot of um, pesticides and um, chemicals or even um, fertilizer to grow. They they're just very good in in whatever they're environment. Hardy. They're hardy. Yeah. They're, so they're hardy. Gonna... It's almost like when you have a plant. Uh, like if you have a hardy plant. That, like when I go to buy plants, they're like Jana. Even you can yeah. have this one. Like kudzu. <laughs> Nobody can kill kudzu this plant. Kudzu grows everywhere. And uh, whatever that stuff is that grows in the lake, invasive plants are. Oh, are good I for know this. what grows in the lake. That stuff is. Yeah. Um, okay. So, so avocados, sweet corn, but there's a star on there, so I don't I don't have my glasses to read this. A small amount of sweet corn. Um, oh, because the sweet corn. Uh, uh, well, it's, so. Um, so these are ones that you you don't need to buy organically. Yeah. So you so don't have to buy these organically. Clear. Avocados, sweet corn, pineapple. Onions, okay. papaya, okay. papaya also is asterisk, sweet peas, and it has frozen next to those, asparagus, honeydew melon, kiwi, cabbage, mushrooms, cantaloupe, mangoes, watermelon, and sweet potatoes. Now, the two asterisks, which are sweet corn and papaya, say a small amount of sweet corn, papaya, and summer squash sold in the U.S., is genetically engineered seed stock. 
buy organic varieties of these crops if you want to avoid genetically genetically engineered produce. Genetically. He was talking about Janana. <clears throat> Did you hear Jana in there? He was like, if you want to avoid your wife, <laughs> I know exactly what he was saying. Okay, I want to get a couple comments in here. Um, Christine says, yes, I knew that about the tomatoes. The history is so intriguing. She says she watches food podcasts. And by the way, if you want to leave a review for the Living Lucky podcast, we are taking off. And I, I literally think this is God's work because we did not have the intention of relaunching our podcast. But we thought, you know what, while we're here meeting with everybody every morning we might as well just take our morning coffees and start putting them on as a podcast and they are catching fire so if you want to go over and download our podcast leave us a review that would really help us out uh yeah, some people can't get on facebook and watch a video with us or get on live with us so they just like the podcast format so we've just been taking this putting it on the podcast and we would love a review on, on any podcast platform. They're on all of them. And Julie says, did I miss? Are they dirty dozen because they they need to be washed? No, they're dirty <clears throat> dozen because... They're full of chemicals. They're full of chemicals <laughs> and we should buy them organically. The Clean 15, you can buy non-organically just from the grocery store. But the and the Dirty Dozen, you can buy from the grocery store, but buy them organically. And I'll put a link to this article in the um, in the chat here in a, in a minute. Julie says, I killed Lantana. <laughs> I'm not sure where. All right. the, okay, I, ne I might need to follow up I'm gonna on that I'm going to Google comment. Lantana. <laughs> Hopefully that wasn't a, a misspelling and, and had nothing to do with Janana. <laughs> And uh, Deanne says non-GMO, so maybe she's helping you out on the asterisk, which I was really impressed that you said that word so well. And Thank you. Yes. There's a town called Asterisk in Florida. <laughs> and I just really, really greatly appreciate all of you being here. Anthony Squitteri, uh, his comments have dropped off, so I, I feel like maybe uh, his dirty dozen... <clears throat> He's probably going to watch the movie right now. That's where he is. Do you is. blame him? I, I don't. And <laughs> Jeff Fren is so great to see you. Good morning. I just wanted to, to personally say good morning to you. Yeah, give us a good morning when you get here, too. Because I love saying good morning. If you he don't does. know me by now. <sighs> if you don't know me by now. You, you will, will never, never, ever, ever, ever know me. Is it never, ever, ever or never, never, never? You will never, ever, ever, I don't know now. Oh, oh. We have some research to do while we watch The Dirty Dozen. Okay, guys, Love I guys. hope this was helpful. We, we get insights during the day, and we just want to share them with you. Eat your Dirty Dozen organically, and keep living lucky. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. If the idea of living lucky appeals to you, visit us at startlivinglucky.com.